Hello everyone. Hope you are doing good. Today's problem is very interesting because it's a mushroom structure. Mushroom structure means it looks like a mushroom. So we can call it a mushroom structure. Let's see how to draw the combination. A hemisphere of diameter 78 mm is resting centrally on its flat face upon a vertical cylinder. Draw the isometric projection of this combination if length of cylinder is 62 mm and diameter is 48 mm. Here the hemisphere is resting centrally on its flat face upon a vertical cylinder. It means the cylinder is vertical. Vertical means axis is vertical and cylinder is resting on its circular ends on HP. So first circular end is on HP, is lying on HP, is contained on HP and on the second circular face of cylinder this hemisphere is resting on its flat face. So first is, first we have to draw the projections of cylinder, a vertical cylinder and then we will place this hemisphere on the upper circular face of the cylinder. Now in construction work, first we have to project the cylinder of diameter 48. So the helping figure for the circular base of cylinder will be a square of size 48 mm. So projecting helping square for the circular base first and the length of the square will be 48. So we have to take isometric 48 iso 48 as the side of square along first and second iso axis marking elements of ISO 48 and then from these two points drawing lines parallel to first and second ISO axis. So from the first point line parallel to second ISO axis and then from the corresponding point line parallel to first ISO axis. So this is the base or this is the helping square. Next we have to bisect all four sides of the square. Right. Next step joining opposite corners or drawing larger or longer diagonal. Next step from opposite midpoints drawing lines towards the opposite corner. So from these two midpoints, drawing line towards opposite mid corner. For the second set, again repeating the process. And in the last step, we have to draw the circular portion, circular part of the base. This is first center, this much as first radius. You know the process. Second center, second radius. Third, third center, and this is third radius. Fourth center, and this is fourth radius. So, the circular piece is ready. Next, from all four corners of the helping square, we need to draw the lines or generators of the helping box. So drawing lines from all four corners parallel to third or vertical axis. And the height is 62 mm. So again we have to take isometric length corresponding to 62. From the first point, drawing line parallel to third axis. Parallel to third axis, again parallel to third axis, and parallel to third axis. Right. Again, joining all corners of the living square. And here again we have to repeat the process for upper circular base. So 
marking all four midpoints of the square first second third fourth then diagonal and then midpoint to opposite corner and midpoint to opposite corner and then from first center this is first radius second center second radius third center third radius then fourth center fourth radius so this is complete projection of the cylinder which is resting on its circular base on HP and excess of the cylinder is vertical or perpendicular to HP now showing solid axis from the first center and second center also we have to draw the center lines so drawing center lines for bottom base and top base Center lines parallel to first and second iso axis from the first center or simply from the center points, right lines parallel to first and second iso axis passing through the center and second axis. face from the upper circular plane or upper circular face of the cylinder we have to project we have to start projection of hemisphere and this is the upper circular plane or upper circular face of cylinder and the same plane is the plane or flat face of the hemisphere so first is we have to project the flat circular face of hemisphere over here along first and second iso axis so marking limits of 78 half of 78 along first and second iso axis on both the sides so marking limits of the helping square for hemisphere half of 78 is 39 so from first iso axis 39 39 39 and 39 these are limits of the helping square of circular base of hemisphere. Now from all these four points, drawing lines parallel to first and second iso axis again. Parallel to first iso axis from the first end. Parallel to first iso axis from the second end. Parallel to second iso axis. Again, parallel to second iso axis. Right. Before projecting circle, let me. circular face of hemisphere here we have to apply the force center method again again joining opposite corners and marking all four midpoints then repeating the process for diameter 78 so from opposite midpoints to the corner midpoint to corner and from midpoints to Opposite corner. 
it points to opposite karma. First center, second center, and our intersection point is the center, third center, and this one is fourth center. Please, please, please. Mark all four centers carefully because we have two set of helping square and two set of circles. So this is first center from the first center. This is first radius. First center diameter seventy eight and first radius. First part of the circle. Second center and this is second radius. Third center, third radius, and fourth center and fourth radius. Okay. Now we have the circular base of hemisphere resting centrally, which is resting centrally on its flat face upon a vertical cylinder. So this circle is showing the circular base of the cylinder, and this circle is showing representing the flat or circular base of the hemisphere. In the last step. Of construction, we have to draw upper portion, upper curved portion of the hemisphere. This point as center, and this much as radius. Intersection point of this curved part, and diagonal. This is the radius, and this is the center. Draw a semicircle, a dark semicircle. Upper part and only front portion of the hemisphere is visible. And for cylinder, for cylinder, from the extreme point to extreme point, this is generator vertical line parallel to third axis or parallel to the side of this helping cuboid. And here on the generator line, we have to show this line, this length, and then again front portion of the cylinder. So this is the final answer. We have to show upper semicircular part, front portion of the ellipse of the base of the hemisphere. Generator and front portion of the cylinder. And last, sorry, 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 axis of the cylinder and axis of the hemisphere. Right. And then dimension. Now for dimension. Showing base diameter. This diameter is forty-eight mm. And please draw lines parallel to first and second isoaxis only. Only extension line parallel to second isoaxis and dimensional line parallel to first isoaxis in your sheet. And then for height. Extending center line and dimensioning line parallel to vertical axis sixty two. And dimensions of dimensions of hemisphere. So for hemisphere, what to do? Okay, we'll show. Diameter of hemisphere here also. So diameter is seventy eight. Diameter seventy eight and diameter forty eight. Last direction of observation. Again, both directions are correct. This is also correct. This is also correct. But we can go for the first direction. So this is the final projection of the given combination. And last, naming. Please write isometric projection. Isometric projection. 
in single stroke letter writing of size or letter height 8 or 10 mm or 5 mm it's up to you so stroke length or letter height is 5 8 or 10 mm as per space As you can see, it looks like a mushroom. So the name is mushroom structure or mushroom combination, right? Now please draw this problem in your sheet indicating direction. Please do all dimensioning and write heading in single stroke letter writing of letter height 5 mm, 8 mm or 10 mm. And if you have any doubt regarding this problem or any other problem in engineering graphics, please write your doubts in the comment section. Thank you.